Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. And a special good morning to my Philly people. Especially if you went to Temple University. Shout out to you. I went to Temple from 2010 to 2014. And it's really crazy to think that it's been almost 10 years since I graduated college. But it's funny because I feel like I over like the last few years, I've met so many people that went to Temple during the same time that I was there, but we didn't know each other when we were in school together, because it's a pretty big school. Anyway, hello, happy Tuesday. I am just getting ready to go work out. Oh, this is bright. There we go. If you guys saw my last vlog, I am making it not really like a New Year's resolution, but I just want to start working out again. And I would really love, like I started working out back in high school and I would like get really into it for a couple of months, then I would stop and not work out at all. And then it's like, I would just repeat the same cycle. So for me, consistency has always been the hardest part the longest that I've been consistent where I was like actively going to the gym every single week was for like maybe a six month period when I was doing CrossFit years ago. Um, but that's it. Like, I don't know. I just, I just have a really hard time staying consistent and I just get bored really easily. And I feel like my whole life in the past, I was always just working out to like either hit a certain goal on the scale or because I wanted to look a certain way fit a certain size whatever and this is like the first time in my life where I mean yeah like the benefits of like you know the physical results are definitely appealing to me but I also am like I'm 30 now you know and I feel like I'm at that point in life where it's like things can go either one way or the other I can continue staying active and continue to take care of my body from the inside out or I can just kind of neglect it but I just like I don't want to be in my 50s and 60s and feel out of shape or like not be able to lift heavy things and worry about like oh I pulled something or you know what I mean like I just want to stay relatively fit pretty flexible strong all that good stuff like I don't want to have any problems as I get older. So that's just kind of been my motivation with everything. Like as far as even like my skincare routine and drinking more water, eating more vegetables. It's really become about like the actual health of it all rather than the physical, like how I look and all that. I need to take Benny out for a walk first and then we're gonna go to the gym. I'm hoping nobody else is there. <laughs> I love when I just can have the place to myself. I have a gym in my apartment complex. And then after the gym, I need to shower. I am working at the salon tonight. I'm doing front desk, three to close. And my hair is pretty greasy, so it's gonna be a hair wash day. But I'm excited to be starting a new vlog. Thank you guys for being here. showered. I'm feeling good. I am already almost finished with my first big cup of water for the day. I've shown this in a few vlogs now, but I, well, actually I got this as a gift at my work Christmas party, but I love this thing. This is the Stanley cup. You can get it on Amazon. I got one for my mom for Christmas and she is obsessed with hers as well. Um, it's 40 ounces and I've been drinking like two or three of them every day and I've always struggled drinking enough water. And I've actually been able to stay consistent. I've been doing this every day for a month now, um, a little over a month. So it's been working for me. I highly recommend it keeps your water ice cold all day like literally all day long and I've just been buying bags and bags of lemons and I squeeze half a lemon and I add some ice cubes so it's nice and lemony and cold and it just tastes so good I've now become one of those girls that carries my freaking water cup with me everywhere but I just heated up some breakfast this is just like an egg scramble 
that I made a couple days ago. Um, I showed you guys in my last vlog if you saw that. I've done it a couple times now and it's really good and it's been convenient so I think I'm gonna stick with this. I just mix up some eggs with a bunch of vegetables. This one I put turkey bacon in as well. Um, spinach, mushrooms, bell peppers, onions, and turkey bacon and some cheddar cheese on top. And I just bake it in the oven for like, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. And I just make a lot of it so that way it lasts me a few days. Ooh, I just got a package. I had a reward at American Eagle slash Aerie. So I placed an order a few days ago. I got two pairs of sweatpants, the exact same style just in different colors because i have a lot of sweats but some of them are pretty old they just like don't feel like the best quality anymore so i got them in gray and black and then this was actually on sale cropped black denim jacket oh i love this this is really really cute let me try this stuff on and see how it all fits here's the sweatpants I don't know. They're not like my favorite fit, to be honest, because I feel like the crotch is like so low, but they are comfortable and they're a good length. So I think I'll probably just keep them because um, they were on sale anyway. I think they only ended up being like $20 each, which isn't bad for like an actual good quality pair of sweatpants. For reference, I got them in a medium and then the jacket. Oh, I love this. Oh yeah. This is like exactly the kind of fit and everything that I like. And this I also got in a medium. I love that it is like a little bit boxier and oversized, but it's not super long. I'm gonna go quickly blow dry my hair and throw a little bit of makeup on, and then I'll show you what I'm gonna wear to work. Here's my outfit for work. I have this super old t-shirt from Adidas that I had cropped a couple years ago. These pants that I thrifted about a year or two ago. And I'm just gonna wear these slip-on sneakers from H&M. And I just crimped my hair. And I just did a little bit of under eye concealer, the tiniest bit of liquid blush and highlight, and some lip gloss. And this is the crimper that I used for the waves. It's from Bedhead, the A Wave We Go. I got it from Amazon, I'll link it down below. So yeah, I'm working front desk tonight. I'm gonna leave soon, and maybe I'll get some vlog footage when I'm there. Good afternoon, I also lost some salon. Yeah, absolutely, have you been here before? Could you do Thursday the 26th in the morning at like 9.30, 9.45? It's several hours later. I just got home. I stopped at the store and it was so perfect. I had my list of everything that I needed to get and then I was scrolling through the Target app, looking through like the Target Circle coupons and every single thing, with the exception of one thing, that I had on my list was on sale. So I got, I had been wanting to get some kind of collagen, and I've heard good things about Vital Proteins, and this happened to be the one that was on sale, had a coupon. So I got the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides, um, the unflavored powder. Hopefully this will be good. It had really good reviews online, so I will try it in the morning in my coffee. Then I got Crest white strips. I like to use these like once a year to keep my teeth white and I feel like lately they're not looking as bright. So it's time to start doing these again. Then I needed toothpaste because I'm starting to run low. Colgate Optic White, I love. I usually either do this one or the Crest White toothpaste. Um, but this was the one that 
have the coupon. And then I got a dry erase board for my fridge. I wanted to get this so that I could kind of plan out meals, like what I'm gonna make for dinner that week. And if I notice that like I'm out of something, I can just jot it down. Cause I normally keep a list in my phone, but sometimes, you know, I don't have my phone in the kitchen with me and I'll realize I'm out of something. And then by the time I get to my phone, I've already forgot about it. And then I needed more bread. I've really been loving this Dave's Killer Bread, the 21 whole grains and seeds. It's so good. And it was on sale. We love that. And then I kind of wanted like a little something that I could snack on because I don't have any snack foods. And these had a coupon. And then I got this black bean hummus to go with those. And that was everything that I got at Target. And then I also got this reed diffuser at the salon. This is from Eco Candle Company, the Beach House reed diffuser they do have these on amazon i'll put a link down below but she sells them at the salon and i get an employee discount on the products so that's nice and she just has these all over the salon and they just smell so good and i love this one in particular and i don't know some reed diffusers are just like not powerful but this one you can literally like smell it through the box so I am going to put this out somewhere in my living room and we'll see in the morning once the oil like moves up the reeds how it smells. Okay, I am going to go put all this stuff away, put the dry erase board on the fridge and I'll see you in the morning. We will try the collagen powder and I'll give you an update on how strong this is. As soon as I came out into the living room, I could smell that. I'm pretty impressed. And I mean, this is a pretty big open space. It has very high ceilings in here. Cheers. Update on the collagen powder. I added it to my coffee this morning, as you saw. Four tablespoons is a serving size. And I did two tablespoons at first, mixed that in, and tasted it, and it was totally undetectable. So then I added two more tablespoons, and then when I had the full four tablespoons in there, it still dissolved really well, and it didn't have a taste, but like, it was still a little bit detectable. I might split it up and just do two tablespoons at a time and just add it into something else that I drink later in the day. But I just got another package in the mail. I ordered these sneakers, which I had been looking at for a while, and then I got an Instagram ad for them, and I was like, all right, you know what? <laughs> so this is them here. These are the New Balance classic 574s i don't know i'll put a link down below so cute oh excuse me sir sir <laughs> and they feel really comfy they're a good fit and i love the colors nice and neutral i ordered them straight from the actual new balance website and they came with free shipping and all that. Um, and I read the reviews online, pretty much everybody was saying to size up a little bit. So I got these in a seven and a half, and I normally, I'm like a pretty standard size seven, but I'm glad that I sized up to the seven and a half because these fit really well and they're like a teeny bit roomy. I'm gonna go get ready because I have a sit down video that I wanna film before I have to go to work because then I'm doing the same exact shift worked yesterday. Good morning. It's Thursday. Yes, Thursday. It's currently like 6.45 in the morning. Getting up this morning was rough. If you couldn't tell from 
my face. I was in such a good routine where my body was just naturally waking up at like 6.30 every morning, didn't need an alarm. Even if I didn't have to be up, I would still just get up early and then I would be tired and go to sleep early at night. Like by 10 p.m. I was out cold and it was just good because I felt like, especially in the winter, now that it gets dark earlier, you know, like the days just feel so much shorter. It's just nice to wake up earlier because then it feels like your days are as long as possible. After Christmas break and everything, visiting my family and being out of my normal routine, my sleep schedule just got all messed up. This morning, I open at the salon, so I have to be there for eight o'clock. I wanted to show you guys my like very, very light, minimal makeup routine. I just got this recently. They sent this to me in PR a couple weeks ago. This is the Flawless Beauty Primer, Hydrating Glow Primer by Pixie. So I put SPF on already, and then I just put some of this on top. There's a lot of products out right now that I think are pretty similar to this. I know Charlotte Tilbury has a really popular one. Um, I think e.l.f. has one. It just adds a nice glow. And it's not supposed to actually give coverage, but it does have like the tiniest bit of a tint to it. Just enough that it like evens out your skin tone. And then I'm going to take the Tarte. CC under eye corrector concealer. I love this stuff and there's barely anything left in here. I have hit pan and I'll definitely be restocking this. I have been using this for years. And then I just tinted my brows a few days ago. If you guys saw my last vlog. So don't have to do anything for the brows. Just brush through them with a spoolie. And then I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny bit of liquid blush. This is the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Grace. I wipe most of it off in the tube and then I just take a little bit on the back of my hand because this stuff is super, super pigmented. I just tap a little bit of that on my cheeks, well, on my nose, and that's it. I'm gonna put on a little bit of lip gloss before I leave. And that's why I love tinting my brows and getting lash extensions because that also saves me a couple steps. So yeah, I'll link those products in the description if you wanna check them out. Okay, I'm dressed. I like the outfit I'm wearing, I'll show you in a minute. I just am like not feeling my best. Yesterday, getting ready for work, I had a really hard time because like everything that I was putting on just like looked bad. I've just been wanting to hide in loose baggy clothes basically. But the outfit that I'm wearing today I feel like is kind of perfect because it is kind of loose and baggy, but it has some shape to it at the same time, so it's not like super frumpy. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna do my hair like a half up, half down kind of thing, and I'm just doing a claw clip, leaving pieces in the front. It's so funny because I remember Back in the day, in middle school and high school, I would wake up extra early so that I would have time to flat iron my hair because I also didn't know how to blow it out properly back then. So I would just wash it and like either let it air dry and then flat iron it or I would like rough dry it but it would be like really big and poofy. So either way, I would have to flat iron it every single day because like dry shampoo wasn't really a thing at that time and then I had to do my makeup which was awful back then it was literally just like black eyeliner in the waterline and like some orange ass dream matte mousse foundation and then eventually I moved on to the liquid liner on the top lid and I would do like winged liner it would just take me like so long 
and I was so obsessive about like I have to do these things before I leave the house like I would choose getting less sleep so that I could flat iron my hair nowadays I'm the total opposite I'm like nope nothing is more important to me than sleep and I try to like be as minimal <laughs> as possible here's the outfit I love these pants so much. I'll try to find a link to them. I got them in the clearance section at Aerie, so I'm not sure if they are still available online. But if you have an Aerie store near you, maybe check the store in the clearance section. They're so comfy. They have a little bit of distressing on them. The shape of them is just... I feel like so flattering. It has the drawstrings, so you can cinch it at your waist. If they feel like sweatpants, they kind of are sweatpants, but like they have more structure, like real pants. And then this top is from H&M. I've had this for a while now, and I just like the sleeves. And again, it's not super form-fitted, but it still gives shape. Hello. It's many hours later. I came home from work, ate lunch, took Benny on a nice long walk, went to the gym. But now I am about to start making dinner. Oh, that lighting is not good. I'm going to make turkey meatballs. And then I have this roasted red pepper and basil quinoa and brown rice mix. This stuff is so delicious and it's so easy. So I'm just gonna make this on the side. p.m. This day has flown by. I had the day off today, so I just straightened up the apartment, did some laundry, worked out. Now I'm about to hop in the shower and tone my hair because it's starting to look a little bit faded towards the ends. It's been like two months now since the last time I toned it, so I feel like, you know, we're due for a little color refresh the last couple of times i toned my hair i did 4n but this time around i'm doing 4abn which is basically the same thing it's just it's supposed to be a little bit ashier that's just what i like a level four neutral or like a neutral ash because i still like to have warmth and richness in it but i don't like for it to be too too warm. I never use permanent color on my hair. The only time I did was when I originally went dark, but from that point on, I just use demi permanent colors to refresh my color. My hair naturally already is a pretty dark ashy brown. It's like a level five, so just a little bit lighter than this color. So when my roots grow in, you really can't tell a huge difference. Um, so I don't have to do anything too intense like a demi permanent works great to cover over any regrowth and then just to refresh the ends because from here down all of this was highlighted and bleached at one point. So the ends do start to fade and look a little bit lighter, a little bit warmer than what I like. Anyway, I'm going to do equal parts color with processing solution and I like to just put that in a bottle because it makes it really easy to apply and I'm gonna literally just apply it while I'm in the shower. I'm gonna shampoo my hair 
two times first, get it nice and clean, squeeze out the excess water, towel dry it a little bit, and then I'm just gonna squeeze this all over my head and just lather it in. And then I'll probably just clip it up, wash my body, shave, all those good things, let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. And then I will rinse it out, apply some conditioner, and that's it. Pretty easy. I'm going to do one and a half ounces of color, one and a half ounces of processing solution. That'll bring us to three ounces total. And then after I get out of the shower, I have a lash appointment this evening at 6.30. We're going to go get these lash extensions filled. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Oh, I totally forgot. <laughs> um, we got fresh hair, fresh lashes. Today I have two clients at the salon. I'm looking forward to it because I know both of my clients. My first client is my friend's mom. I know that she's a pretty easygoing relatively low maintenance person so I think it's gonna go well and it'll be nice to just chat and catch up with her because I haven't seen her since before Christmas and then my second client my friend whose mom is coming in I met my second client through that same friend and she's amazing I've only met her one other time before but we had such a good conversation I don't know I just feel like a lot of our beliefs and our mindset like align and I feel like I could go for a little therapy sesh today to be honest so I'm looking forward to that because I know no matter what we talk about it's going to be a really enlightening conversation and I feel like I'm going to leave there feeling like really refreshed so it'll be perfect a win-win she can come in and get refreshed with her hair and I can get my soul <laughs> refreshed <laughs> and then after work I think I'm just gonna come home it's a really cold day today the high is only supposed to be 48 which you know isn't bad for mid-January but for down here that's cold it was in the high 70s just two days ago so yeah <laughs> big drop in temperature and it looks like it's supposed to just be cloudy i'm really feeling the long hair do you guys remember a couple months ago when i was really contemplating cutting it i've always been a shorter haired girl and i loved hair extensions i would wear extensions quite often and those would be pretty long but i never had the patience to let my real hair grow this long i would always just either get the itch to cut it or I would change the color a million times, then it would be too damaged to grow out. So yeah, this is the healthiest and longest it's ever been. And I've always wanted my hair to be like this. Like whenever I would see other girls with like really long, luscious, healthy hair, I always was like, oh, that must be so nice. I would love that. It's nice to finally have it myself and like look from the back how long it is it's so crazy anyway i gotta go take benny out for a walk and then head to the salon i uh, will see you guys there okay just finished work it is 5 23 um i only went in at 11 so it's it wasn't that long of a day, but, um, oh my god, my hair looks so long right now. Holy crap. Sorry I didn't get footage. One of the other stylists was there, and she had clients, and I always just, I don't know. I know I shouldn't feel weird, because, like, everybody knows I do YouTube and whatever, but, like, I just, for other clients that are there, like, I feel weird if they're gonna be, like, in the background at all, because I don't want them to notice the camera and be like, what the hell is she doing? Am I gonna be in the background of that? I don't feel comfortable. You know what I mean? I just don't want anyone to, like, feel weird or uncomfortable. But my friend's mom just wanted a full head of highlights. She, I, I thought we were gonna be changing it up a little bit, but she said she wants to just stay blonde and she wanted to just be, like, really bright. So we did that. I added a little bit of layering in her haircut because she felt like she just wanted a little more, like, texture and something like a little bit different so i did a full head of highlights and i just was following like 
her natural head shape and also like the pattern that her hair grows in as I do with all my clients like I like to make all of my color very custom so custom head of highlights and then for my second client she had been getting her hair colored because she has maybe 20 strands on her entire head that are gray so she doesn't need like full gray coverage color but she had been getting like full color all over and her natural color is a really dark brown like my color but the person doing her hair previously had been using clearly like something just way too dark darker than her natural color and she was feeling like her color was looking like jet black and very opaque and it didn't really have any shine to it and she just wanted to get her hair to be her natural color so that she can kind of let it grow out and I was telling her you know there's really no reason because of how little grays she has there's no need to be doing a full head of color so I freehand painted her hair to try to like break up as much of that black as I could just lift it out like a level or two and then I did a toner I think I did four what was it it's one of the newer shades um NCH maybe just like deep chocolate brown with 4NB equal parts so that it would be a dark brown but like a rich dark brown and then where she did have the few grays that she has I took permanent color just a 4n and I just tapped over where she had her grays and that's it like there's just no need why am I gonna if she wants to keep her natural color like she doesn't want her hair to be a different color than what it naturally is why am I gonna go through and apply a full head of color all over to just make it be the same color it already is. And all that's gonna do is change the texture of the hair. Because even if you're not doing anything damaging, but still, like, natural, untreated virgin hair is gonna feel different than hair that's been colored with permanent color. So, yeah, it was just kind of a process of trying to get her to a point where it can then be low maintenance and she can just let it grow out and just soften it up a little bit add a little bit of shine and like to make it more reflective it was a good day overall and we had some really good conversations now i'm tired and hungry so i think it's it's like well and now the sun is setting so it's dark but it's just been cloudy and cold all day so i think i'm just going to get some takeout on my way home have a little cheat meal treat myself have a glass of wine and just chill and relax and watch movies the rest of the evening so i'm gonna end this vlog here thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you have an amazing week ahead and i will see you really soon in my next video bye